This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Western Henrico. More specifically, I'm off the Ridgefield Parkway corridor. Today we're going to take a look at a four-bedroom, three-full-bath home. This home is a new renovation located here in a nice, desirable West End neighborhood. If you know anything at all about West End, uh, very, very popular and convenient. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out to your attention, if you look there, in the middle of the frame, you always want to be cognizant of who your neighbors are. Um, I lived next to a sworn officer for many, many years, and it was kind of peace of mind knowing that, that cruiser was parked uh, just 15, 20 feet away from my door. Um, most of the time, I think he only worked like three days a week, it seemed like. So uh, just a kind of added benefit in some neighborhoods. Uh, speaking of neighbors, Last week I had a showing, and as we went through, the house was nice, good condition. However, we noticed that it had been on the market for a while. The price looked appropriate, uh, home showed well, and in the backyard we noticed there was some water retention. Uh, it had rained earlier that morning, but there had been enough time where that water should have uh, dissipated from the backyard. Uh, so we went on through the property i called the other agent i said hey have you guys had any drainage issues and he said well we have a ditch in the back and we've raked the leaves out of the ditch and that should clear up the issue uh, as we were leaving i saw that there were neighbors that were gathered in the cul-de-sac and i said hey we need to probably talk to the neighbors you just never know what information neighbors have and are willing to divulge so fortunately, my buyers actually knew the neighbor's children, and uh, so there was an immediate uh, connection there. But after speaking for about 15 or 20 minutes, we found out that all of the neighbors have drainage issues. And of course, that was very, very important information for my buyers. Information that, you know, we really wouldn't know the full scope of what this situation was until we actually spoke with people that live there. Uh, so I say that to say you always want to use neighbors as a resource whenever possible, especially as we're getting into the warmer months. It's not unusual at all for neighbors to be out and about, to uh, be in the yard, to engage them. They'll see you coming through, and for them, you are a potential neighbor. Uh, someone that's looking at the property naturally could be the parents of the children if uh, children are in the household that their kids make friends with and play with and ultimately the families get to know each other so they're kind of scoping you out just the same manner you may be scoping out a property so it's important to always be open to be receptive to talking to people you just never know what information they may have and are willing to share many times people will share information and not even really realize what they're telling you let me give you another example whenever it's time for me to schedule a showing. I can easily go on the internet and schedule a showing without speaking with the listing agent. Uh, I typically like to talk to the other agent because I want to find out a little bit more information that's not in the system that maybe will help me understand what the seller situation is. Let me further explain. Let's say, for example, a home has been on the market for 120 days, which is we're getting to be a, a, a little long in our market and uh, the home looks good it looks like it's well priced uh, when i talk to that agent i may say hey what's going on the home looks like it's fairly priced but it hasn't sold what's the deal well it was overpriced to begin with and then we, we lowered the price my people have another home in the contract and we need to sell it in order to move on to that one so they have basically just given me a whole scenario somewhat out of their frustration and so of course when I speak with my buyer, I'm sharing that information with them. I say, hey, okay, we've got a motivated seller potentially because they've got to sell this home in order to buy the next one. That information is crucial because now we know what their situation is and can make potentially make our offer accordingly. Uh, there is a rule in real estate. I'm not sure who came up with it, but it is... Whoever has the most information wins. And so to a great extent, uh, I definitely concur with that. It doesn't mean we're necessarily going to get a steal, but it does mean 
that we know going into the negotiation process uh, what the other side is potentially looking at as far as their situation. Okay, we've got two master suites potentially in this home. Down here could be a master suite in addition to one we're gonna see here in a moment. Now, they did a rehab here on this shower. This is a really neat shower job that they did here. I'm not sure exactly what they had in mind there. Um, and I'm not just gonna make anything up. I'm just gonna say I have no idea what they had in mind there. But uh, we've got a, a big person shower head and a little person shower head, put it like that. Uh, so you got dual shower head technology there in that bathroom. Okay, let's go on upstairs and see what we've got here on the second floor. Notice this new wood flooring. The home smells like new. Uh, obviously, we've got uh, a great uh, new paint, new carpet, new appliances, new backsplash. Uh, this home has been completely redone. They did a nice, nice job here in this hall bath again. We see that same tile work. Very nice, very nice. And two additional bedrooms, actually three additional bedrooms up here. Uh, this will probably be the most conservative of the three. We've got new windows in this home. Schools here in this area, in this county, every middle schooler, every high schooler is issued their own laptop. And uh, I think that's just a really, really cool benefit. Uh, that's been that way for a number of years now. I believe Henrico County Schools are one of the first in the nation to actually embrace technology at that level. So they've gone through a few iterations of different types, different manufacturers of laptops for the children. But I believe all the homework, a lot of the classwork is internet-based or uh, computer-based in that way kids grow up, they already grow up with the technology, so why not embrace it from an education standpoint? Okay, this is gonna be our master bath here. Once again, they did a nice job. Beautiful, beautiful tile work. Uh, if this renovation looks familiar, you have seen work by this rehabber in the past, so that's why. Once again, we've got that gray and white theme that we've seen many, many times before, and I think it just works absolutely beautifully in these newly renovated homes. Uh, please remember homes like this are part of the rent to own program from $12.50 a month and up. If you're relocating from out of town, that particularly could be a great way to transition here into the Metro Richmond area. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. We're reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Be sure to please like and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for taking a tour with me. Have a great day.